Welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we'll dive deep into the world of classes in QuickBooks Online. Classes, as you may know, are a powerful tool for tracking and organizing your business finances. Whether you are a small business owner or an accountant, understanding how to use classes effectively can make a huge difference in your financial management. But before we jump into the action, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest adventures and it will keep you on the loop for future content. And to our returning viewers, welcome back and we appreciate you all for your ongoing support and could not wait to embark on this journey with all of you once again. Now let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first. Using classes in QuickBooks Online offers several advantages, particularly for businesses that need to track and analyze financial data for different segments or categories within their organization. So let me just simplify it. So um, classes allow you to categorize transactions and expenses by department, location, product line, or any other relevant segment. This enables you to generate detailed financial reports that provide insights into how segment, how each segment is performing. And it will enable you to separate income and expenses for different areas of your business. And segments are the most profitable and, we, and which might need improvement. You can actually create customized profit and loss statements by class allowing you to view your financial performance of each segment individually. How cool and good is that? Now, for budgeting and forecasting, it makes it easier to set it to set a goal and monitor progress within each segment. If your business has different, you know, tax obligations for different segments, like say for example, you have a different sales tax rates in various locations. Using classes can simplify tax reporting by separating the data by class, right? So in, in totality, this reduces the risk of errors and ensures that your financial reports accurately reflect the performance of each segment. How good is that? It's conveniently made to allocate income and expenses to the appropriate segments as you go along, reducing the need for manual adjustments later now if you are using the same version that i have and you'll be seeing the same navigation like this on the interface all you gotta do is go to the gear icon symbol on the upper right all right so go to um accounts and settings and hover down to advance Okay, so um, when you go to categories, there's um, actually two options. If by any chance you you the the track classes, the classes here is not um, ticked. So all you gotta do is uh, click this option. It has an option here where it says "Warn me when a transaction is not assigned a class." So. Um, be mindful if you click the check button here, it will always notify you every single time you uh, do some transaction for each classes, right? It's a little bit annoying, but sometimes it helps you notify. So it depends really on your uh, preference. It's all a matter of preference. But for, for the time being, we're not gonna click on this one. But it's up to you. It depends really. And it says there's an advanced button here where it says during warning you for a transaction, is it gonna be one to entire transaction or one to each row in transactions? It depends really on your preferences, right? Now, we're not gonna, uh, we're not gonna check the uh, track locations for now. I'm gonna save and click done. And once that, all you gotta do is go here to um another way also is go here to to the chart of accounts go uh 
hover down here, go to uh, the gear icon once again, and you see uh, the list, which says all lists. Okay. So you click the classes. If you've uh, watched it, watch some of our videos. We don't have the uh, live um account because these are all training purposes but you, you'll you see uh some information here that fits the criteria and again the quickbooks online allows you for flexibility in setting up and using classes so it will enable you to tailor to your um specific business structures and needs once you've set all each classes efficiently it organizes your financial data, you know, saving time when generating reports and making financial records and financial anal analysis uh, more straightforward. It's really a, a helpful tool, basically, especially if your business has multiple locations, you know, departments or project classes provides a structured way to manage and track your finances um separately so that's the reason that's was one of a powerful feature for businesses that requires a granular level of financial tracking now uh thank you once again for watching this video if you like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more quickbooks online tutorials and leave any questions or feedback in the comments below I read all of them, so I'm, I'm more than glad to read all your comments. And until next time, happy bookkeeping. See you guys in the next video. Thank you, thank you so much for making our small community bigger each and every day.